Okay, here we go. This is a tutorial on how to split the audio out of your uh, game feed and your Switch stream. So here's what you gotta know first. Uh, the uh, prereq first is, uh, let's just say that this uh, incognito browser window with YouTube is the content that I'm trying to serve. Uh, we have a application audio source, which actually represents that page, which is this YouTube business. And let's just say this music one, which is the wind coming from the window on the left, is the audio that you're trying to remove from your stream. So with that out of the way, what you could do first is go ahead and before anything, uh, definitely disable all these global audio devices. They just complicate things and quite frankly, prevent you from actually splitting the audio. Uh, next, what you want to do is go to the output tab and initially it's going to be under simple, but go ahead and change it to advanced and you'll have two sets of uh, tr audio tracks presented to you. Uh, one that's, uh, that just says audio track. This represents what's going to go directly to the stream and Twitch VOD track as it implies. This is the actual track that will contain what the audio for the VOD will be having. So. Let's just assume that the stream should be the street. The audio we want on stream is going to be track one and the audio that we want on the VOD is going to be track two. So keep that in mind, right? So if we go ahead and now check uh, advanced audio properties over here and edit, uh, you'll see the two audio tracks that we have. We only have two things, right? One scene as well. So what we want to do is we want to have the stream contain all of the audio, but we want the VOD to only have the, the quote unquote YouTube uh, audio right not the uh, music on the left over there we labeled a YouTube probably a little bit more confusing probably should have named a content but regardless so we want uh, YouTube to be present on both tracks and we want just the music to be on track one so the VOD which is represented by track two should not have that so when I do play it as you can see it's playing it's only going to be present in um, track uh, one so that way, when you actually record or uh, stream, or sorry, when you stream, that's going to only be present in the uh, stream and it will not be present in the VOD. You can also use this idea across a recording. So if you were to go back to this output thing, go into uh, here, you can see that you can show what audio tracks is gonna be there. And so for like, if you have a video to edit or something like that, and you wanna have each stream of audio, like the music, the game audio, all that jazz, and like every single, you wanna keep them all in separate tracks. And then that makes it a lot easier to, uh, you know, give it to an editor and they can do stuff with it. Cool, hope that helps, bye.